Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back. For those of you who don't already know me, my name is William Bootsy Blandon, entrepreneur, YouTuber, whatever you want to call me. I want to talk about recent news because it goes into what I've been talking about, how I don't trust regular banks lately. And guess what happens? Wells Fargo just shut down all the personal credit lines. They don't even care if it tanks your score. They're just shutting them down because they're in trouble. And this is just regular banks. It's just lately I've been feeling this thing where I don't trust regular banks. Now I do recommend in this business world you have at least one anchor bank, meaning you do have one regular bank that you can walk into, make transactions, and forward money to fintech banks or any other uh, credit union or whatever other accounts you have. I do recommend that. But you probably won't need more than one. Right now, I'm dealing with Chase. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't 100% trust Chase. Now, on the same end, you can't trust all fintech banks. Because I've been seeing that some have been getting in some issues where they just shut your account down. You know, everything's a shady transaction. The fact of the matter is, you got to have a combination you got to have at least one anchor bank. Um, thank God mine happened to be Chase and it wasn't Wells Fargo. Um, I recommend one good credit union. I am one of the best in the country, maybe federal credit union. Um, you can have multiple credit unions, though. Honestly, if you want to have multiple accounts, it's actually in your favor when you're trying to build corporate credit, business credit to deal with more than one credit union. <clears throat> so one anchor bank, more than one credit union. FinTech banks to be determined at a later date because I'm dabbling with some FinTech banks now. And the reason why I do this stuff is so if, if something comes up that I don't like, I'll come back to you guys on the channel and tell you, oh, don't go with this company. So it's almost like I'm your test subject. So I'm going to dabble with a couple fintech banks so I can report back to you guys, let you know which ones I'm working with, and you can take it from there. I've got a long list of some fintech banks I'm going to be working with. But these regular banks, man, it's just something... It's just bothering me about regular banks lately. I think it's the cryptocurrency world. I think it's the cryptocurrency world. Because now on Coinbase, I just got approved for their debit card on Coinbase. And you can actually stake USD on Coinbase and make 4 four to 5% on your money. Almost like the z integrity thing that Troy's doing with the Forex savings thing. You can get guaranteed earnings on your regular USD just keeping it on Coinbase. And then have a debit card that links to everything in my USD coin. So guys, they're replacing the banks. The cryptocurrency platform are replacing the banks. And Coinbase is not the only one doing this. So you could literally stake your USD coin, make something so it's better than a savings account right there. You know, I, I bet you the shady people are watching like, we don't need banks. You don't need banks anymore. You don't. Like you literally can have hundreds of thousands of dollars on exchange like Coinbase. And unless you get in something legal trouble, they will not even go look to see that you own these coins. So nobody knows you even have an investment on the platform. They would have to like go to Coinbase with a subpoena and say, we need this guy's records of how much he's got. And, they, and if they don't know you have it, they're not going to know to go look. But yes, Coinbase is American exchange. If they go digging, 
they'll look and see what you got. But if nobody knows you have it, nobody knows you got it. You could die with hundreds of thousands of cryptos on Coinbase. But the beauty of what they're doing too on Coinbase, you can have $100,000 on Coinbase Exchange, right? And let's say I need some cash. I can actually keep my cryptocurrency building and borrow a loan. I could say I got 100000 in cryptocurrency. I could borrow $50,000 in cash, do what I got to go, buy another property, go flip some cars, whatever I'm trying to do. Take my earnings, go put them back on the platform, and my coins never lost because they are still building. So if you got like 100000 in Bitcoin, you don't want to pull it out because you got to pay all those taxes on it. You just take out a loan. See, it's almost like you don't, in the future, you're probably not going to need a bank because you have these cryptocurrency platforms that are becoming the bank. But at the same time, Bank of America, Chase, they're investing in cryptocurrency. I heard Bank of America is trying to come out with their own cryptocurrency. So they're not left out the game because then that brings them back into the game. Because say, let's say you can still earn some money now on your Bank of America coin. Then you may go back to Bank of America just like you're doing with Coinbase. Keep your cash on there because it's earning. The regular savings accounts and checking accounts don't earn you anything on your money. So these cryptocurrency platforms are trying to replace the bank. It's crazy. Uh, my Coinbase portfolio uh, has went up a little bit. Um, this is totally separate from what my... Uh, I got to say my ZTech coin lately has been going down um, I don't know if you guys have noticed that uh, I'm not gonna panic I'm just gonna keep my money on there but um, I'm gonna give you a guys an idea of where my coinbase portfolio is you see the total there uh, USD, I got some Bitcoin, got some Ethereum, Cardano, Dogecoin, Bitcoin Cash. I don't know why I still got XRP. I just, there's a hope in me, guys, that XRP will come back. I don't know. Uniswap, this is a good one. Av, good one. Polkadot, good one. So you see where I am right now. Gitcoin, this is a good upcoming coin. You better check that out. So I'm just dabbling with cryptocurrency. I'm not going crazy. Um, my total portfolio right now, $621. Nothing crazy. I'm not going crazy. Because you can't put more into this guys than you're willing to lose. But let me tell you guys. When business gets to where I need it, I'm probably going to have tens of thousands of dollars on Coinbase. I probably would at least have twenty dollars to $30,000 on Coinbase before I start panicking and don't want to keep it on there and want to go with a hard wallet or something but that's where I'm at probably with um, my Coinbase portfolio I'm going to keep a lot on there because I can pull I like Coinbase because if I need the cash I can pull some off or I can take out a loan and that's going to help you in your journey of going to business I'm sorry Glendon Glendon Cameron I'm talking to because I was in his path where just focus on regular business, but I can't just focus on regular business. I got to do a little cryptocurrency. Uh, it is a gamble, but it's a fun gamble. I can see why these people go crazy with it. It's, it's exciting. 
So I'm going to dabble with cryptocurrency. I would say overall, I would not put more than 10% of your overall, you know, investing in cryptocurrency. I would put more into real estate and in secondary stocks and then cryptocurrency. But the cryptocurrency is fun to me. Stocks, I'm just going to probably go with those um, uh, things where you just invest in. They, they invest in the overall companies because it just makes it easier, you know what I mean, rather than picking and choosing. And then I might go to something like, um, what do they call it, Weeble, where I can pick and choose some different stuff, some different stocks just to play around with, you know. But I would not mess with Robinhood because I'm seeing the problem people have with Robinhood. It's when you kind of got to take your money off. Robinhood does not make it easy to take your money off the platform. That's why I will never mess with Robinhood. This is why I like Coinbase. Um, I used to deal, have all my cryptocurrency on Binance. But Binance doesn't make it easy to extract your money either. You know, up to recently I heard they're coming out with their card and it's still foreign exchange. I still feel uneasy. I would never have $30,000 on Binance. I'd be freaking out. Even if I had money, even if I was making 100000 a year, I'd be freaking out if I had 30000 on Binance. But if it was on Coinbase, I could sleep good at night. I don't know if that makes sense. With Coinbase, there's more regulation to help protect us so and then coinbase is easy if you're just getting into cryptocurrency go to coinbase now i'm not trying to offer any investment advice i'm not a professional i'm just giving you guys a perspective of an entrepreneur and what i'm doing and you can either do what i'm doing or not but i just thought it was just crazy when I heard Wells Fargo like shutting down everybody's accounts like not the regular accounts but their credit accounts and they don't even care if it messes up your credit they just like fuck it we shutting these down and it was, the Wells Fargo is one of the ones I don't know if they're dabbling in the crypto world but I know Chase is I know Bank of America is it's cryptocurrency is the future Pretty soon, you might not need a bank account. Let's keep it real. You Right now, you can keep all your money on Coinbase and just use your Coinbase debit card to pay your bills, pay your rent. But I still recommend having at least one anchor bank. All right? Um, yeah, Wells Fargo shuts down accounts. It's, it's crazy to me. But thank you guys for your time. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.